you rocking with your boy, Czar for Christ. Like, share, subscribe. Let's keep it simple. Ludacris' name being outed by Cat Williams, the same man that was complaining. Now he's dragging Ludacris for being bisexual. Now this is what he's alleging. Now we don't know this to be the truth, but this is what he's alleging. Cat Williams is now saying Ludacris is bisexual, which is very curious, all right? Now let's get into it. There are 12 verses, namely I can think of, off name. We're going to read the one that's easiest. Mark 10. Verses six through nine, if I'm not mistaken. And it says, thou shalt not lie with womankind as mankind, mankind as womankind. That actually, that one's Leviticus 18. So excuse me, this Mark 10 goes into further detail on man and woman. And it tells you God created man and woman in his image so that you know there's no in between. That's what Mark 10 does. Now, Leviticus 18, that's Old Testament. That goes into detail about man lying with womankind and mankind and vice versa. And that breaks down the realism of mankind, womankind, and even gives you some intricate details into why and why not. You can find that in Leviticus, in the book of Deuteronomy, even in the book of Colossians, especially. It goes into detail talking about why not and why too, dealing with this type of lifestyle involving the same sex, okay? Now, this is what Cat Williams is alleging. Now, as far as we knew, Ludacris was already in a relationship, if not married. That's what's very concerning about this and disconcerting about Cat Williams' claims. Now, we see his claims about on the net. Can he prove this? Understand, this is just defamation, as he did to Kevin Hart. Is he trying to get sued by every major movie star and actor actress he wants to get sued because you're making claims about their lifestyle and something that they have not spoken up and said anything about openly and saying it for fact just like the idiot i was talking to earlier that i addressed on him talking about anunnaki and him this disconcertingly giving up any rights to christ at all saying he just was a man he was this without any proof and no text he's talking about tablets versus a bible he can't even describe or talk about in a lifestyle that we're looking at now cat williams is violating up and down now he violated more than hebrews by calling out all these people putting claims against them whether it's true or not we don't know but say it's false then he's committing a sin he's literally quote unquote exposing something that we know not truth in him because there's no truth in him in the first place where was real when cat williams was running down the block and made a claim that that girl woman's husband held a held a a firearm to him when he did not in fact he did not lift his arms or even show nothing we looked and it did a zoom up he had nothing on his waist how about that because i caught you at that line and i didn't go hard but now let's bring it back up because you want to keep bringing up what people are doing how about we bring up what cat williams is doing a man with no projects that barely looks like a man that allegedly even could pass as a female if he wanted to the man who sat there playing a pimp in all type of things in these hood movies thinking that he got some clout off of it you're nobody in that you did nothing for the black community but make us laugh what else did you do for me what did you teach me how did you lead me how did you put me and help me prosper in my life you didn't you didn't give me no info because cat williams you don't bring anything valuable but some laughs you want to let me laugh good i'm waiting court jester let's see it dance dance jester dance because that's all you are, man. There's nothing, really, you are serious to us. Cat Williams out the picture isn't going to change my life. It's not going to change any black person's life. You did nothing for black communities. What, you gave out turkeys? You did a school giveaway? Good job, Cat Williams. You learned to fake it till you make it, just like the celebrity world. Because you're just as fake as all of them. We know what the truth is. Stop popping up here saying you're doing something all grandiose and mighty just because we don't have millions to splurge on getting the stuff that these kids need. We get our kids what they need to survive. You do things for show, and it shows it right now. You're running your mouth for show. I'm standing up trying to help you before God comes helps you because he's not going to help you. He's going to take you out. You're old. You said you went on a mission to him and you're trying to make it seem like your mission was failed because you couldn't find God. That's what you made your mission sound like. Do you know how annoyed he is at you? You're you're the worst type of person next to these other dudes. You're the same. You all are making God a mockery. Make God a mockery. He'll mock you to your families in a grave. You don't get that. God is not playing with y'all. You don't get that. Well, you know what? Now I'm about to turn all the way up. Guys, you're about to get it. I'm about to really go in and start going with the scripture because y'all need to know it. These dudes act like they know it and lie about what it means. I don't, one thing I don't like, I'm going to tell you, I don't like people who are fake. That's number one. Number two, I don't like people who are liars. 
okay? You're lying. Fake people tend to lie a lot. That's why I see it synonymous. It almost could be one and one because if you're fake, you're not going to be honest. There's no honesty in it. What's honest about you, Cat Williams? What's honest? Where's your honesty? Do you have any honesty on your plate? You you are a man in movies with your hair slicked back like a woman. A pimp named slick back. The guy who's running around doing what? And then you were in the episode when what? Do you remember the, the boondocks alone showed your character? Chuck O'Dear, I'll be there all day destroying you. In and out destroying you all day. Like, you know, like that D-block man. In and out. <laughs> oh, man. I don't want to copyrights. I don't want to copy the song. But in and out. In and out. Come on now. In and out on you, son. You you never been that guy, even in comedy. Have you been funny as Dave Chappelle? No, you have not. You can back him and say all this. You were always second to Dave Chappelle. Right there. Right there. That's where you're at. So stop acting like you're someone grandiose. You were second to Chappelle. And now you're falling behind with these other funny guys who are getting up. Kevin Hart funnier than you? I don't know. Will we see? How about you do your own special and show you still got it? I want to say Cat Williams don't got it anymore. That's why he's doing all this. Cat Williams don't got it. That's why. He doesn't know where to begin. He's doing so much talking around it. Where's the jokes? Come on, comedian. Come on, court jester. Where's the jokes? You know how I rock. You know what time it is, and you know what I'm talking about. Cut the games. Cut them. Now you're trying to push Ludacris, exposing him for a terrible sin. Man, you already got exposed for you by scripture in Ephesians. Do I need to bring that back? Hopefully you went and read that. You probably didn't because you're reprobate. Just like all these other dudes who are behind you backing you. And I said that and leave it there. Y'all back in your reprobate with him. Suffer with him. Ephesians 5, 11, And you know how I rock. All rights reserved. And that's forever. Comment their nation. Greatest nation since United Nations. Know that.